Hello and welcome. It is Basketball Champions League action for you. Game day 12. We are coming to you from the Czech Republic and Group C as Nimburg face off against uh, Jerusalem from Israel. It is a Jerusalem team which has already qualified into the playoffs. They currently sit in second place, but they still have that battle for top position and the better qualification seeding going forward. There are the other games in Group C, just our lone game at the top there tonight. The other three games to keep an eye on are tomorrow, and it is the bottom game there, the Fondabrada versus Ike game, which will concern Jerusalem. They currently tied for first place alongside the Greek team at the top of the table in Group C. For Chesnimberg, they have the most wins this season of any team in the competition. But unfortunately for them, 19 of their 23 victories come domestically in the Czech League. 19 and 0 there, but in the uh, Basketball Champions League, they are 3 and 8 as we see those Group C standings. Ike and Jerusalem, as I mentioned, 9 and 2 record, both having qualified for the playoffs. For Chesnimberg, they are unable to leapfrog into fourth position as they do not have the head-to-head -head against Telnet Giants Antwerp, the current fourth place team. Well, we said the uh, Chesnimberg team have the most wins this season combined between domestic and uh, international competition, but it is Jerusalem that are second in the uh, Basketball Champions League for that total as well. They have 22 wins. There is their team, head coach Oded Katesh, the uh, Israeli national team coach as well. And guys, to keep an eye out for James Feldin, the number 14, having a fantastic year for Jerusalem. 17 points per game, four assists as well. He has become, you know, the go-to guy really offensively for a Jerusalem team, which is uh, one of the best offensive teams in the Basketball Champions League. Well, Wojciech Huban there, one of the key performers for the Chess Nimburg team. He leads the team 14 and a half points per game. He is the number 77 for Chess Nimburg and their coach, Oren Amiel. It is a uh, an experienced team. We said they are 19 and zero in the, uh, the Czech League. They re really have a uh, domination domestically in recent seasons and uh, for them and uh, their experienced roster a couple of guys that have played previously in this competition either for the uh, Chesnimburg team or for you know, fellow competitors in the Basketball Champions League they will still be trying to play remember the fifth and sixth place teams in Group C finish outside of the playoffs for the Basketball Champions League but they will then go into the playoff stages for the FIBA Euro Cup. So oh, it's very much stuff to play for, for uh, Chesnimberg. They have the same record as Dijon in sixth position at the moment. And so I'm sure their ambition is to try and get into that FIBA Euro Cup. Jerusalem coming out onto the floor then. We said, what an offensive team this is. They are number one in the Basketball Champions League in points per game, 87.8. There is James Feldin, the man I already mentioned. He leads the uh, Jerusalem team in scoring. But it is uh, more than one man team, that is for all, for sure. And a number of very impressive individual performers. There is Jacobin Brown, one of those guys I talked about. Eight and a half points per game, but the numbers don't do justice for him. And uh, you know how impressive he is, that point guard duo he forms with Tamir Black arguably one of the strongest positions for their team. And now, this is Nimberg coming out. They uh, have Richard Kuban leads the way, 14 and a half points per game. It is uh, Jaromir Bocic that averages uh, 12 and a half points a game, as well as their two guys in the double figures. A real good Czech core to this team as they have international experience with the Czech Republic national team but then also a combination of uh, import players as well and it helps them out so they'll come into this one Chess Nimberg and a 
having uh, gone down on the road last week in Belgium to Townets, a giant Antwerp. It was a uh, disappointing loss. It would have given them the opportunity to have that head-to-head, -head, keep themselves alive. They had an eight-point win here in, uh, in the Czech Republic earlier in the season in game day four. But Antwerp turned that over with a 13-point victory, 85-72 to 72 last week. For Jerusalem, they come in after the impressive 91-77 to 77 win against Fuenlabrada last week. We said they're a high-powered offensive team. 91 last week, 92 the week before, and then 97 the week before the Christmas break as well. It is their first time on the road since the Christmas break, though, as they will... Uh, return next week for that all-important game in Jerusalem against Brosa Baskets. But right now, they are playing for playoff seeding going forward into those top 16. Um, ten teams still have it all to play for in the Basketball Champions League. We have six teams already qualified with uh, three games to go. Jerusalem are one of those six teams that has qualified. So the pressure off for them, but Still very much, uh, you know, they want to keep that momentum going, heading in towards the playoffs and see, you know, what seeding they can get, trying to make sure they have the easiest possible way into the final four. There are uh, three officials then. Antonio Conde, Martin Horozov and Andrei Sharapa from Spain, Bulgaria and Belarus, respectively. Make up the uh, team. On the floor here. So Jerusalem after a, another 90 point performance on the weekend, 94 to 81. They've helped Pete Galil Gilboa. And we'll go with this starting five here tonight Feldin, Black, Johnson, Owens, and Thomas. The major surprises there. Backcourt of Black and Feldin. So impressive throughout this season. Platt. You know, an excellent three-point shooter, distributor, Feldin. Just uh, a bit of do-it-all scoring, really, uh, behind the very impressive three-point threat he has as well. There is Odek Katesh, man who has guided Israel into the second qualification round of the World Cup. And uh, will be tempting to see if they can find a way through to China. And some difficult games coming up for them in the February qualification window. As we now go to Nimburg, it is Lawrence, Huvan, Boacek, Myers, and Bender. And five on the floor for just Nimburg. And domestically, we said you know, they've been rolling in recent weeks, as always, as it seems to be in the, uh, the uh, Czech League. And got the victory over Warno, 91 to 70, to make it unbeaten. They have won just one of their last five in the Basketball Champions League. That was the victory here at home against Lecabellis a couple of weeks ago. They do have a, uh, a two of their three wins here at home. So it'll be interesting to see how this home court fares for them. Will it be a Jerusalem team that have taken their eye off the ball, having qualified? Or will Jerusalem still be concentrating and be engaged? knowing that they want to push their way into the best seat possible. So for Chestnimberg, they do have an overall record of uh, two wins and one loss against Israeli teams in the Basketball Champions League. So a strong start for them, although their only loss was the game between these two teams earlier this season. And that was an 88-64 to win back on uh, Wednesday, the 7th of November. Game day five. As James Feldin had an incredible 35 point outing for his team. He went nine of 12 for three. And if you did get a chance to watch that game, do go back and watch it. MVP of the round in game day five, James Feldin, after that huge performance. He added uh, four assists and five rebounds as well. And he was really the difference between the two teams. And hello and welcome in his Basketball Champions League action. Just three weeks to go 
in the regular season. Game day 12 as Chisnimberg face off against Hapoel Jerusalem. Jerusalem in the red, Nimberg in the white as we are off and underway into the hands of Eugene Lawrence. First possession for Nimberg. Man to man for Jerusalem. As the first shot comes from the corner, bounce is clear. Lawrence with a good offensive rebound. Then it is Boacek missing his little jump shot, but it will go into the hands of Jerusalem for their first possession. And this is a Chesnimberg team which struggles to score points in the paint. Now lowest in the BCL at just 24.9. will be something to keep an eye on, especially against this athletic front line for Jerusalem. As Tamir Black gets them off the mark early. He said excellent three-point shooter, excellent distributor as well. And he makes the first score of the night. So 3-0 lead for Jerusalem. Nimberg now trying to find an option. It is uh, Huban now. Now going to the low post with Myers. Myers trying to find some room. Shoots over the top and uh, gets the score to Sean Thomas. Couldn't do anything about that as Nimberg off the mark. Feldin uses the screen. Pulls up, takes the jumper, doesn't go. Strong offensive rebound by Josh Owens. He is an absolute jumping jack. He is a real threat on the pick and roll as uh, this time is Thomas on the roll right down the middle. Easy score for him. Jerusalem offense getting established early. We said number one in the BCL points per game. And already a minute and a half in, you can see why. Well, check. Now in the far side, Ruban tries to go behind his back. Check now. Her cheek into the lane. Can't finish. Owen snatches in the rebound. Black will look to push here. In no real hurry. Comes off the screen. Pulls it out once more. Here comes Owens. Black pulls up. Takes the triple. Doesn't go. Good rebound from Myers. Inberg will try and push here. Open three in transition. Truvan couldn't get it to go. And now Lawrence. Trying to go against the bigger man in Feldy. Myers loses it. First man to it is uh, Jerusalem. And Chris Johnson is feeds to uh, James Feldy. He goes all the way to the other end, lays it up for the easy two. 7 2 start here. Perchek finds Bender. And now the three on the far side for Lawrence. That doesn't go. Owens, an easy rebound for him. Cleaning up on the boards. Josh Owens already here. Three rebounds as now he rolls and gets the finish with the left hand. Well, we said Josh Owens is a very tough pick and roll player. Such an athlete rolling to the ring. And when you've got guys that can pass, the way to mere backhand gives her easy opportunities. Here, the steal. Thomas all the way, takes a foul but can't finish. He'll be at the line for two. Good defense for Tashon Thomas. And he's a man who just does a bit of everything, Thomas. Doesn't have the, uh, the scoring prowess, perhaps, of some of his teammates. But Thomas, 12 points, six and a half rebounds, two and a half assists, 50% from three, 69% for two. Here he is playing defense against the other guy's key man as well. Well, we see Owens getting himself on the board. This has been an early time out here by Chesnimberg. They trail 9-2. to two. Anyway, 
Interesting timeouts. Let's pick and roll for Jess Nimberg as the call from the side. Gave them a couple of sets for them to go to instead. For Jerusalem, they said you've got to be aware of those long rebounds. Obviously, a team that does like to shoot the three in Nimberg. Talks about their struggles to score in the paint. Long shots equal long rebounds as two of two for Tashon Thomas. And a very impressive start for Jerusalem on the road here. Lawrence trying to find something. Can't take it in. Black with the steal. Goes up high. Owens throwed it down. Oh. The moment Tamir Black got that steal, you could see the two on one happening. He knew where that ball was going to go. No one could get as high as Josh Owens in that situation. Good finish for uh, Boacic. Nice little jump hook in the lane for him. As Feldin puts it on the floor, finds Owens. And a foul is called. It'll be two shots. Good unselfish play for James Feldin. There's the lob. Owens, no one around him. This is the first, makes the second, Owens. Following in the footsteps of his brother, Jerick, and played professional basketball in Portugal. Rollman is denied by a kick from Owens. Good pass from Ruban. Trying to look for his man, but his pass was deflected. There's Black. Showing his quick hands and the awareness of who's with him. Another turnover. Davis this time. Fresh into the game. He picks it up. This time the lob doesn't go. So it's a turnover from Jerusalem. Giving the opportunity for Nimberg to finish. Martin Federica getting the score. They have to try and look after the ball, Nimberg. Four turnovers for them. It's Thomas nearly loses it, picks it up, finds Black, wide open for three. And Tamir Bat, second triple from him. Cannot give that man that much room. Lawrence thinks about it, isolates himself against Black, goes over the top, can't finish. Rebound taken in by Owens once more. Here comes Jerusalem, and right down the middle to Sean Thomas. Wide open, misses the easy finish. Huban gets fouled on his way to the basket. Thomas, you could see him slap his thigh, frustrated as Owens picks up the foul. Perhaps he was just surprised at how open he was to Sean Thomas. Chucking right down the middle, no one picked him up. There is the previous finish from Pedica. Thomas seems to be. I mean, some woes. Fumbles the pass before he gets it into the hands of Tamir Black. Black goes out. Staudemeyer in for his first time. Jacobin Brown also out there. A lot of changes for Jerusalem as Butler comes in as well. So Owens, Thomas and Black went out. Brown, Butler and Staudemeyer in. Two of two for Wojciech Kruban. And a 1 2 2 press coming. Substitution of their own. Sees Glenn Cozy come in at the point. And he is guarding Feldin. Feldin off the screen. Draws the switch. Jacobin Brown gets it back to him. Feldin. Short on this occasion, but he's going to get his own rebound. Brown, he'll try a three. This one also off the mark. Chick kicks ahead. Pedica. 
On the pick and pop, here he is. And successful those, good work on the glass. From Jomir Bercic. Feldin apologizes to the bench. Good work from Bercic. Points in the paint are a struggle for Chest Nimberg. And plays like that really can be a big momentum. First is good for him. And the second. Nimberg getting it done from the line in recent possessions. Four of four. They are from there, just three of 11 from the field. With four turnovers. They bring the press again. This time they're going to slip back. Looks like a bit of a zone for them. Well, Jerusalem figure this one out. Seven o'clock. They go to Staudemeyer. Five now. Takes the tough shot. And the changing defense work for Nimberg there. Seems to just confuse Jerusalem. Not sure of what they're running. As Bochik takes the three. Left open. Couldn't knock it down this occasion. Brown to Butler. Butler draws the switch. Forced to kick it back out. Stoudemire rolling. Collects it deep. And he's fouled. Yeah, good foul from Davis. Not sure how he was caught under the basket, isolated against Stoudemire. So the end line possession for Jerusalem. Brown squares up. Doesn't get the three to go. Well, Tamir Black knocked down a couple, but well, it's ice cold. Cozy. Two pedicut for three. Also trying to warm up here in the early stages. 0 for 4 for just Nimberg as Butler. This is point blank opportunity. And just two of six for Jerusalem. Scrappy eventually picked up into the hands of Cozy, and he gets Nimberg off the mark from beyond the three point line. The score sees him drop into this change up defense here. Looks like it's man to man now. Brown for another three. Bounces high, but clear. And Nimberg, chance to run. They'll go up high, but it bounces clear. Frustrating from Davis, just couldn't quite finish it off. And Stoudemire shows him how to do it, going the other way. That's the margins in the game. Good opportunity for Davis on the, the lob, couldn't finish it. And Stoudemire finishes it off in transition immediately the other way. Kuzi's quick three off the... Offensive rebound doesn't go. So 19-13. Nimberg after struggling in the first few minutes have slowly chipped away at this lead. Feldin goes out. That comes back in. Bracey Wright comes. To the floor for the first time, replacing uh, Wojcik, Wojcik Fruven. Blatt off the screen, finds Stoudemire. But he comes up short, gets his own rebound, and puts it home. Oh, you do your job, don't you? Get your body in front, force Stoudemire to take a, a tough one, maybe a step outside where he wanted to take it. And then he just collects the offensive rebound, puts it home. And all the hard work for nothing. Bracey right. Takes a quick jumper, doesn't get it. Black pushing, he's got numbers down the floor. Finds Butler in the corner. His three comes up short. 
Alahu got a hand on the rebound, but couldn't keep it in bounds. Katesh looks on. Inside the last minute of this first quarter then. Cozy comes off the screen, pick and pop with Davis. Hesitates before he takes it and barely touches the ring. Luckily for him, Bracey Wright had a good position inside Jacob and Brown. And Brown had to commit the foul. Here you see Pedicut gets his body in front. Doesn't take the uh, little fake from Staudemeyer. But that veteran gets the offensive rebound, puts it home straight away. Right to the inside of Brown. There's another missed three. Right, we'll get it. Missed one. But now he makes that one. So Bracey Wright has come in. And we're going to fire it up. Already taken three attempts. It's Alahu. This is the offensive rebound. Davis snatches it in. Cozy will take a three way off. Brown pushes ahead. Alahu finishes it off with no one back. Well, Nimberg playing with fire against the team that averages in the 90s. So often the way Jerusalem do, taking those quick threes just leads to easy points going the other way. Uzi flips it to Davis. Davis doesn't travel despite the uh, attentions of Amari Sadamai and his complaint, but it is the end of the first quarter. So impressive for Jerusalem as we expected offensively. They have the lead here, 23 to 16. Here's the statistic, just three of 13 for Nimberg. Uh, percentages all around, very low, and, and you've got to wonder, what might this have been for Jerusalem if they had shot the way so many of these guys can often shoot from me on the three-point line. This game may well have been done here in the first 10 minutes. Now some good looks for key guys. And it's really only Samir Blatt that's been able to get it going from beyond the three-point line. The band playing out. Trying to create some atmosphere here for the just Nimberg players. And we're still looking to move their way just slightly up the table in Group C, see if they can get one of those places in the FIBA Euro Cup. As a fifth or sixth place finisher in Group C. Underway in the second quarter. Well, possession is a turnover. Jacobin Brown losing it. Shake of the head from him. And gives it back to just Nimberg. Right, kicks it out. Davis thinks about the long two. Foot was on the line, can't get it. Offensive work by Prompula. He doesn't get it, but he's going to get his own offensive rebound. Looking to score. As he attempts to find Davis, it's going to come off of him last and go back to Jerusalem. So 
Just an unconfident first offense for Nimberg there. Probably gets the offensive rebound, but the D from Butler denying that pass out to Davis. Nalahu throws it high. Great feed to Stoudemire around one. Oh, the four five combination. Alahu, the handler off a ball screen. Don't see that very often. But the skill set he has is he's able to make the lob to Stoudemire. Davis going out. That was his personal foul. Free throw good for Stoudemire. Cozy. Nearly loses it on the pass back. Then does fine bend up. His three doesn't go. Long rebound. Goes to Cozy. They're the rebounds that Coach Katesh was telling his team be careful of. Didn't listen on that occasion. And they're going to be punished here as the good strong move from Martin Pedica. The mismatch on the post. Got it and finished it off well. Alahu pulls it out. Finds Black. Black wraps the pass back to him. Alahu backing it in. Six on the clock. Oh, good footwork from Alahu to find that space. Cozy now. I find some room. Just the paint packed though with bodies. So right. Finds Pedicut. Once again, he's got a switch, but the double team comes and he finds the open man. Well, Martin Pedicut, the offense right now. He was the provider for Petra Benda to finish that one off. Flat to Alahu. Get this one to go. That's his shot, Laura Alahu. Cozy. Pedicut in transition. And right now, Martin Pedicut doing everything. He moves to seven personal. What a hot spell for him. Scored on one post up, provided an easy two on the next one for Bender. And then in transition, runs to the three-point line. Well found from Cozy and a little run for Nimberg. Has seen them get back into the game here. Seemed like Jerusalem were just going to open up the game. Huh? Time out, called by them. Don't stay here on the floor. Everybody backs out. This is the game. Nobody run before we the ball. We cannot play without making fouls. Commit fouls. They can't excuse fouls. Nobody run. Get in, get the ball, and run our game. You have to help us. Defense, we have to help us. Yeah. Let him come to you. Don't come to him. Because we don't get any, any switch from this. So let him pick. Let him pick you. So they switch and you can go to him. You can use this guy for there. But you understand? So don't come to him. Don't you understand me? No, but I need Jerusalem are going to bring it in from the end line. Press perhaps coming. Nimberg, yep, 2-2-1. Two, two, try and jump against Jacobin Brown, but he just finds Thomas, who brings it down easy. And then Butler gives it back to Brown. Owens out there on the floor as well, and it goes up high. Owens gets the tip, and it drops. Not this spectacular play we sometimes see from him, but the awareness from Owens making sure the ball goes in most important thing wholesale changes for Jerusalem coming out of that timeout Feldin, Owens Butler, Thomas all came back in there's Pedica takes another three doesn't get it and a foul is going to go against Nimberg, I believe we bend up if that is the case 
Yeah, Bender ball. just wrapping the arm. You can see him holding there. Good work from the official. Wrapped up the arm of Tashawn Thomas. Stopped him being able to grab it. Just his first. Seven-point lead then. Feldin with the ball. Using this high screen. Open shot for Feldin. And that is only going to be one thing. Money in the bank for him. Four points personal. The three doesn't go. Rebound by Feldin. Kicked ahead. But Butler can't be the first man to it. Cozy is going to talk this one over with the official because... Well, the referee says when he called the ball, he's out of bounds. I'm not sure. He has it there. He lets go. He doesn't touch it. So the question is, when he released it, did he have both feet in? I think absolutely. That's a smart play from Glenn Cozy and I don't think the official was able to see that he had released the ball so Lawrence has come in to replace Cozy he's chasing Jacoba Brown who just goes right to the ring came off the re-screen and Brown an easy left-handed layup first score for him missed his first four Brown Bender screens for Lawrence Lawrence Hans Pumprula good strong drive from him and he'll lay it up uh, Pavel Pumbrilla just got to his right hand and then another turnover. Sees him now pass ahead to Bracey Wright. Wright fouled, flips it up. It's going to be on the floor though. Yeah, Sideline possession, first team foul against Jerusalem. Heady play from Wright, tried to buy the shot here as he pushed. And he's uh, been around before, Bracey Wright. Played a number of years in. European competition. Yes. Hayon comes in. And Deshaun Butler goes out. Our referee's going to talk this on over. Bracey Wright has actually, I said he's played for a number of big time European clubs. Did actually spend a year with Hapoel Jerusalem 2014 2015. He's uh, signed for uh, four years. And though he didn't actually stay there, just uh, a couple of years with the team before moving to Pina Kasiaka for Jerusalem. He averaged 13 and a half points per game. He was the uh, MVP of the 2015 Super League Finals. As he faced off against Hapoel Iliat. He averaged 19 points per game there. So he's a, a well known man. Here he is with the ball to these fans of Hapoel Jerusalem who've been around for a few years. And he shows he's not just a scorer. A man who was drafted in the 2005 NBA draft after coming out of Indiana University. The provider there is Feldin. Tries to respond. Can't. Strong rebound and finish. On the glass from Chris Johnson, though. Good work from Johnson. He started the game very quiet. Had uh, six minutes and didn't get a rebound or take a shot in that time. Uh, comes back in, immediate impact. Offensive rebound and score. Chance for the bonus as well here. He makes it to make it a 10-point game. Right, calls the play, cuts through. And now he'll have it on the far side. Kicks to the corner, Lawrence. Goes back to right. Four on the clock. Wright's got to shoot over two defenders and makes it off the glass. Bracey Wright, impressive finish. Five now for him. There's a hang on being hounded by Lawrence. Oh, good little fake from Thomas. Can't finish the, the layup, though. That 
is Bochik going the other way to right. Now Bender, Bochik, the lefty, puts it on the floor. Finds right, one dribble pull up from him. And Bracey right came into this one and has uh, been a real impact for Nimberg. Five points, seven points, sorry, for Bracey White. Three of five from the field. It is Boachik on the penetration, kicks it out. And right, almost identical spot to his last make. Next, that one to go as well. Pedico goes out, being replaced by that man there, Mike Myers. Oh, hey, on one way, then the other, but it's going to be an offensive foul, a legal screen, as Lawrence was knocked to the floor. Lawrence didn't like the call. Oh, he did raise a little elbow. Not sure how much contact there was, but you can see why the referee made the call. Second foul on Owens. And it's going to be a 2-3 zone for Jerusalem. Doesn't go for Myers. Really the shot there to look for there. Oh, hang on, trying to find something. And he turned it over. Good recovery from Myers, but he loses it in transition. So poor play 1M from Myers. Made up for it well on the defensive end, but unfortunately for him, just couldn't handle it in transition here. And gives it cheaply back to Jerusalem. Stoudemire is going to come in. Oh, hang on, trying to find some room. No hurry as he finds Feldin. Feldin waiting. Loose pass. Six on the clock now. Oh, hang on. Long two. Can't get it. Johnson again on the glass. This time's got to throw back out. Thomas, excellent finish from him. Just got himself into the lane. Knew his spot. Used his size to uh, just shoot over the top of the defender. Jerusalem switch away from the ball. Right is left open though. And as you're switching, that's the man you don't want to leave open. Racy Wright moves to 10. Must be seeing those Jerusalem jerseys once again. Rolling back the years, Bracey Wright. 24 years of age now. Got his team within five. Thomas on the floor. Lays it up once more. Eight points personal for Tashawn Thomas now. Loose pass from Wright. Lawrence steps through, but takes one too many. So possession back to Jerusalem. This is where Bright was left open. Good extra pass from Lawrence. Defense got to get their hands up a bit quicker against Bracey Wright. Black back in. Here he is. Finds the corner three. Johnson. Can't get this one to drop. No, oh, it's not in a hurry. They've got numbers down the floor. Myers now trying to find something. Goes hard off the glass. Rebound. Bender got a hand on it, but couldn't take it in. Feldin, transition, knocks it down. Well, often a strategy of teams in transition is to try and go under that ball screen. So they've not put such an advantage so early in the clock, but I'm not sure that's the tactic you can do against James Feldin. It looked like the defense was switching there. But you've got to know the scout report. Bracey Wright switches. Myers too slow to get out to James Feldin. And you'd have thought a man who went 9 of 12 against your team first time you played. Might get a bit more respect than that one. Now, second thing, three guys 
They are, they are no, no, under a defense. But you got to move, be on the right time, be on the right place on the right timing. Now we have fouls to give. We use it on transition defense, we use it for deep catches. Hey, hey, right now we're not 55, we got to meet TV in the game. Yeah, exactly. no 55. TV so and I'm out here. So it's edge or, or TV and I'm Two minutes left, first half. Ten-point lead for Jerusalem. Wright is doing everything he can to keep his team in the game. That turns it over there, and James Feldin ahead of everyone. Lays it up for another two. Nine points for Feldin. Four rebounds and three assists as well. He loves playing against just Nimberg, it appears. There's the corner triple, too strong from Nimberg. Stoudemire jumped late, but still got his hands on the rebound. We'll pull it out here. Turns it over. Good awareness from Lawrence. He is fouled by Butler. Good off the ball defense from Eugene Lawrence. Saw where Platt was uh, trying to get the ball. Timed his cut well from the weak side so as not to leave his man open. He's got to call the play. There's a 12-point lead, though. Jerusalem here. As the screen comes from Davis. Goes up high. Davis oh, has it rattle out, though. And it's a five-on-four advantage going the other way. Blatt. Finds Butler. Butler takes a three and knocks it down. Well, great offense by Nimberg, but they get nothing for it. Then the other way, Butler does nothing but just step outside and shoot the three. Makes it. And Miss gives the ball again quickly back to Jerusalem. Not sure this is the game you want to get them in. Stoudemire rolling hard, takes the contact, finishes Jerusalem rolling here. 51 points in the first half. Nimberg struggling to get into anything. Blatt reaching it and tips it away. And he walks to the bench, gets a breather. Substitutions for Nimberg as well as Davis goes out. Martin Chris in for the first time. Foul against Johnson. At the line then. Poor check. Makes the first. Moves to five. He's been on a, a good streak recently. Scored 18 plus in the last two games. It's the first time in his 27 appearances in the Basketball Champions League. He's managed to do that. And can't hit the second, but then the offensive rebound goes to Lawrence. And he also misses on the three. For a re foul on the rebound is called. Timeout. 25 seconds left. Jerusalem with the ball. We're going to get a chance to draw something up here. Get a really good shot for the last possession. Watch out for James Feldin. Surely the ball will see his hands in this last 24. Why he has played in this game. Let's listen in, see where Coach Katesh is going to go. Guys. They play 2-2-1, we need good 
press break. Okay, I want the ball first in the middle and we go one three task one. Amare, you're here moving under the defense. We're going to use the clock. Okay, we're going to use the clock. Play aggressive now, we play Let's go, let's go. Please, go for Ivo, everybody. Box out. Box. Okay, 55 and introduce. Come on. One, two, three. We don't need to foul if it's not necessary. Only the Rebounding battle, relatively close. You saw the caption, but uh, the one before that was the difference. The shooting percentage of each team. And uh, one team is shooting 61% from two-point range. And the other team is shooting just 37. You know, there's the difference on top of that. The only way to really combat if you're Nimberg and you're struggling with that discrepancy is the three-point shooting. But they're just 22% in comparison to 36 for... Uh, Jerusalem. So at one stage, lead 17. It's at 16 now. But it will be at its highest point at any sort of basket here. Last possession of the game. Clevin Brown gets it. Holding and waiting. Clock to seven now. As they look for Feldin, here he is on the curl, but he loses it. Picks it up. It's going to be a 24 second violation. So the half will end there. A scrappy end to a very impressive half for Jerusalem. They've led for 19 minutes and 21 seconds. And they have the 16-point lead, 51 to 35 here at the half. Well, we just talked about it, the percentages there. Huge difference between the two teams in uh, both areas. And that is the reason for this lead. So even though there's a... Uh, a close rebounding battle, and Chess Nimberg have done an excellent job with 11 offensive rebounds. Uh, they're going to have to start making some of those first opportunities if they want to come back into this one. Bracey Wright has been, uh, you know, putting his finger in the dam really to stop the uh, the water leaking out for Nimberg right now. Where would they be without him for Jerusalem? You know, a number of key performers. There you see Stoudemire, Feldin, and Thomas. All of them have eight or more. Uh, doesn't forget Tamir Blatt. He has six himself as well. A real team performance from Jerusalem. So, I will leave you with some highlights from this first 20 minutes. Jerusalem, a team still with eyes on number one spot in Group C in the regular season. Look like they may be working their way to yet another victory here at the half. They have the 16-point lead, but Chess Nimberg have the ability, if they can start to put it together, to make this one an interesting encounter in the second 20 minutes. Go nowhere. We'll be back in about 10 minutes' time for second-half action between Jerusalem and Nimberg.
Welcome back. It is half time here. Just Nimberg facing off. Oh, welcoming Hapoel Bank, Jerusalem to the Czech Republic. And Pavlovka Arena at the half. Really, the game has gone in this first 20 minutes the way you would have expected coming in. A Hapoel Jerusalem team number one in points scored per game in the Basketball Champions League. They scored 51 in the first half. They have uh, done a tremendous job in uh, putting the ball in the basket. Excellent percentages from them. 61% from two-point range, 37% or 36%, sorry, from three-point range. They have scored uh, 32 points in the paint. And it's very much been a, a workmanlike performance for them. They have got no one in double figures, but a host of players have contributed to this big-time first-half score. On the other side, Nimberg. A team which is bottom in the Basketball Champions League in points scored in the paint at 25 points per game. Has 14 in the first half. And uh, really, apart from Bracey Wright stepping up with 10 points off the bench, it could have been a lot worse for a team that's shooting 37% for two-point range, 22% for three. They have never led in this game. Nimberg, as Jerusalem took. 38 seconds to take the lead at the start of the game. And since that point, they haven't looked back. Largest lead of the game at 17. 16 right now at the interval. It's the only positive for Nimberg is the 24 points they have got off of the bench. They've got 11 offensive rebounds as well. A number of those offensive rebounds have come because they've missed so many shots. And the first shot opportunities, something's going to have to change in this second half. If you're just joining us, we're in Group C. Jerusalem have already qualified into the top 16, into the playoffs. They're one of the six teams that have done that before the game today. For Nimberg, they are currently outside of not only the player places for the Basketball Champions League, but also for a, uh, an entrance into the FIBA Euro Cup, which will be rewarded to those teams finishing in fifth and sixth position in their groups. So, Jerusalem will come out here full of confidence after that impressive first half performance so we see the numbers of James Feldin he is one of those host of players that has performed well after he scored 35 points the first time these two teams met and he has nine at the half and he's the tied leading scorer for his team first possession then as we are underway goes to Nimberg and will go to the inside he can't finish, despite a, a, a good execution there. Krish at the line. That's the first. Well-designed play coming out of that. Half time break. We've got the ball to the inside. Oh, high off the glass for a second one. It was so high, you almost feel like it was intentional. Strange for someone to bank the second after making the first, but they all count. As the pressure comes from Nimberg now. Got to get into some half court defense. A lot of switching from them. Feldine. Finds Owens, who gets it to the cunning Thomas. He in turn finds Johnson, who will get a chance at the line. Smaller lineup for Jerusalem. Thomas, Johnson, Owens, Feldin, and Blatt. Makes up their five as Boachik, Kosi, Ruvan, Rish, and Pedica. Didn't really give him the credit, Martin Pedica, at the half. Uh, perhaps should have. Side uh, right, who has 10, who really come to the forefront of the second half of that first 20 minutes. It was Martin Pedicup with a big run, got his team back in the game earlier. He's four of eight from the field, 
nine points. There's Thomas. Sorry, Johnson. Makes them both. Cozy. Over to Pedica. Cozy has it. Eight on the clock. They've not really got anywhere here. Eventually, Kreesh rolls and gets the finish. So, strong play from Kreesh. Comes off the screen. Just dips that shoulder. Goes hard to the ring. Black buries his third triple. Now, they keep trying to go under these screens or give Black that much room. He keeps punishing them. Nine points, five assists for Black. Truban now trying to find some room. Pedica, one dribble, pull up. Goes on line, but comes up short. Another offensive rebound. And he finishes it off. Well, said so they're going to have to start making these first chance opportunities. One. Came back to Pedica, and he finished it. And Black in the lane this time. Can't get it to go. Here comes Cozy, pushing. Finds Pedica, puts it on the floor and is fouled before he goes to Ruban. You'll see Cozy looking around, not really much happening. Eventually finds Grish. Once more, Cozy going under that screen. Jerusalem have consistently punished them when they've done that in transition. Cozy takes a tough pull up, way long. And the other way, Feldin stops, goes again. And uh, another efficient finish from Feldin. Largest lead of the game, 17 points for Jerusalem. Kuban, Krish draws the foul and we'll go to the line. Oh, it's a little frustrated slap of his hands. Just reached in, didn't need to really. Could have attacked it late, tried to block it up high. Third foul on Owens. Krish gets himself back to the line. Doesn't get that one to go. Someone was in early. Looks like it's Deshaun Thomas. So he'll be taken again. And Krish gets the roll that time. Lawrence and Davis look on. Black. Eventually gets it to Thomas. And he'll bring it over to half. Finds Feldin wide open. Can't hit it, Johnson, the only man there for the rebound. And then the plays that just can't happen. Blatt isolates here at the top, steps back, foot was on the line, he makes it. But if you're Nimberg, first of all, you've given up the, the clean look to Feldin, no one close to him, which is dangerous. But then if you're not going to get close to the shooter, how can you give up an offensive rebound? Well, Johnson, just the only man that really went for it. And then Blatt. Moves himself to double digits with the jump up. Ruban makes a shot of his own. Feldin this time, fouled on the drive. And Black, isolated. Couldn't quite get his feet back beyond the three-point line. Those four three. It's this drive from Feldin. Given on the floor. Owens. Killing a breather. Estadamar comes back in. Once more off the screen, skips it to the corner. 
And another jumper is good. Three-point shot from the corner to Sean Thomas. He moves to double figures. So these guys that were close to it for Jerusalem. Now getting over to Hump. Black, Feldin, Thomas all reached that mark. Stoudemire one score away. There's uh, Johnson trying to catch him. Moves to seven. And a timeout called by Nimberg. Good find from Blatt. Six assists for him. Another strong game for the 21 year old. see some of the highlights from this third quarter. You're going to say Chesnimberg, they must have known the scouting report coming out. The speed, the offense from Jerusalem, they just have done nothing. Just try and slow it down, taking quick shots themselves, which have led to more scores. That's a strong drive and finish from Pumpula. If you score, you can try and slow down this Jerusalem offense, but if you're going to take a quick shot and miss it, just opens up transition opportunities, which they haven't done a very good job of getting back and stopping. Thomas collects in the offensive rebound as Blatt throws it high. Stanimar can't take it in. Foul. So Pumprulic called for the foul. Second as Johnson goes to the bench. Butler comes in. Here's Black once more. Clean open on that far side. And Feldy knocks it down. And heard in the timeout. Nimberg changing that defense. They've gone to the 2 3 zone. As Pumprilla turns it over. Two on one. Feldin takes it all the way himself. Two more for James Feldin. 15 personal. And they're going to change defense, Nimberg. They need to change something, was the quote coming out of the timeout, but that is not happening. Numbers down the floor again for Jerusalem. Black for three. Can't get it. Stadamar tips it. And into Nimberg. There's Pedicut. This is his opportunity. Here comes Blatt again. Trying to find somebody. It's Butler for three, and he'll make it. You can't just keep giving these opportunities to Jerusalem. Platt just uh, picking the poison right now, pulling all the strings. Comes down, just dictating where the ball's going to go, who's going to take the shot. Right, steps inside, fouled. Can't hit it, it's pulled back by Feldin. So Feldin looks towards the official, doesn't like the call, but I, I think I agree. It might have been a bit late, but... Here's Blatt once more, she comes down, waits for the defense to decide where they're going to go. And uh, wherever they decide, he goes opposite. So if Lawrence had stayed with uh, Butler over there, it has shot himself. It comes towards him. And Blatt unselfishly just makes that pass. So Phil Dean and Blatt go out. Bartimore and Jacob and Brown come in. Changes in the backcourt. As Wright steadies himself. 
Can't hit the second though. Yeah, Find Stoudemire. It breaks the press. And it is this 2 3 zone now for Nimberg. Tamor throws high. Good take and finish from to Sean Thomas. Team now for him. Lawrence to Davis for three. And he had a couple of opportunities. Davis in that first half to take the three. He didn't. First make for him. So a five from the field before that one. Good to see him get his first field goal. First points of the game. Asks the referee for confirmation. Three second violation. Here is Davis. Knocking him down on the last possession. Can he back it up here as he'll set the screen, pop high. Lawrence will take it though. And he knocks it down. Nice point to the game for Eugene Lawrence as well. And Davis and Lawrence, two Americans. Getting their first baskets back to back. Stoudemire rolling, draws the foul. It's against Davis. His third. Stoudemire moves to double figures himself. Makes the free throw, a little glance as uh, somebody shouted that the shot was going to be short. Johnson wanted the ball to be his, referee disagreed. All right, got it by Bartomore, now from Pula. Davis squaring up on Stoudemire. Look at the D of Stoudemire, just forced his man backwards. Davis has to turn and fire, he had no other option. And he gets the tough shot to drop. <laughs> 22 point game. Two to his own still, Butler gives it back. Jacobin Brown, all the time in the world. Been off today though, Brown, one of six from the field. You see, look at this, Davis trying to find somebody to pass to. Looks around, no one's there. Just turns and fires it, three seconds on the clock. Made it. Right, trying to back it down against Bartimore. Spins away from the double team and makes it. Uh, Bracey right. 13 points personal now. He averages nine and a half a game. Brown to Butler, open for three, is good. Third three for Butler. Lawrence responds. And you see the three-point shooting. Eight of 19 for Jerusalem. Something to keep an eye on. Nimberg, only six of their own. Oh, my to the floor. Post fouled by Brown. Okay. Trying to make something happen in that low post. <laughs> it's 
he fouls against Jerusalem. Sees Tamor go to the line. Excuse me, sees Pumprilla go to the line. Four points, three rebounds for him. Managed to get himself to the basket well. Links that one. screen to Butler. Butler, a little fake, dances in for two. Well, he faked the handoff, completely fooled the defense. And now he's going to pick up the cheap steal as well. As the ball just kind of dropped to him, Bender couldn't take it in. With, uh, approaching a minute left, the chance for this lead to stretch out again. Here is Brown to Johnson. His skip pass gets to Butler. Butler finds Stoudemire surrounded by bodies. Too closely as he's fouled. Looks like Bender's going to pick this one up. Good play from Deshaun Butler. And Stoudemire will be at the line. First is good. Stanley, 72% free throw shooter. It's there four and a half times a game in the Basketball Champions League. He gives a little look to somebody on the Nimberg team. Short, small smile as he knocks him down. Right, it's Pumprilla. I'm going to try and post him again. The three doesn't go on this occasion. And uh, couldn't get it to drop. Brown. Behind the back to Stoudemire. Davis is not happy with that call. He's complained some earlier ones, and I think it's he's been wrong. But here, let's have a look. He's got position. I mean, I'm not really sure what he can do. His right hand, maybe. Referee's got that angle. Is that what he gets called for? The hand being on the hip. It's the fourth against Davis. It's been a rough night for him. Perfect from the line, 15 points for him. Finds James Felding is the high man. As Jerusalem have five guys in double figures now heading into the fourth quarter. Last possession perhaps here, Lawrence will run some clock. Gets the switch with Butler, loses him, fouled, and it's going to be a goal send. Butler makes the foul. Stahanemeyer couldn't resist catching it in the air. So the basket will count. Chance for one extra point. There'll still be 11 and a half seconds left. For Jerusalem to get a shot. He'll go by on comes in. Lawrence oh, makes it. Feldin will come in as well. Lawrence goes out. Here's Feldin, they'll bring it down. Six seconds for him, they'll isolate. He'll just pull the trigger on a three. Doesn't go. Rebound didn't quite go to Butler. Ohio picks it up. Doesn't get it away in time, though. So at the end of three, it is a 20-point lead. 85 to 65 in favor of Hapoel Jerusalem. Another huge offensive quarter for them. 34 points as they continue to just uh, 
put up these big offensive numbers. They have won all three quarters so far. See the percentages there slowly rising. He was behind some good three-point shooting in that third quarter. I know their frustration may be that at one stage they got that lead out to 26 before being pegged back. Look at the helm, we'll bring it in from the side then. To start us off in the fourth quarter, still this 2-3 zone for Nimberg. Coven Brown out there, along Butler, Stoudemire and uh, Bartimore. As the defence goes back into man-to-man. -man. Nearly creates the turnover, but... A deflection from Boacic. Goes out of bounds. He's out there with Bender, Cozy, Kreese and Wright. For Nimberg, Brown still can't get his three-point shot to go. But good work on the glass for Ohayon. Here he is putting it on the floor, spins, goes with the left hand and finishes it off. So Jorge Ohayon, the veteran point guard, former national team member. It's the offensive rebound and put back there. That's right, we'll try and post up against Bartimore. Bender back into right, who is fouled. So we'll stay with Nimberg, pushed further into the corner to bring it in. Cozy trying to find somebody. And nearly has it turned over. Tamor read the plate. Still 14 on the clock though. Trying to sort the shot clock as they've moved it now to 13 seconds. Cozy brings it in to Bender. They'll try and post Prumprilla here. He spins away from Brown and fouls him. And then a big hit comes from Stoudemire. Everybody checking to make sure Prumprilla's all right. There was much in it. I think Stoudemire had committed yeah, to the jump. Just came down on top of him. Pumprilla once again causing problems, getting to the ring. What a physical player he is. Takes the challenge to the defense. We've seen him get to the basket on the three point line now. A couple of times gone into the low post with success as well. First bounce is clear though for him.
Second is good. Now come with the 2 2 1 again. Oh, hey on. Draws the trap, goes to Brown. Brown wants for Stoudemire. Stoudemire rolls. Brown kicks it to Butler. Puts it on the floor. He finds Stoudemire and he easily finishes it off. 17 now for Amari Stoudemire. Six of eight from the field. Six rebounds as well. Bender. Goes to Kuzi. Kuzi. Pulls it out. Jacobin Brown guarding him. They'll go to Bender. Turns, fires, way short though. Hayon okay, in transition, looking around. Defense this time recovers well, so Butler has it, low post. Takes the turnaround jump shot, but he still can't stop it. Defense was even better that time. From Nimberg, they were back, they slowed them down. But still, Butler just turns and fires it. Moves them to 91 points here. This was Butler on the previous possession. Pass to Stoudemire. Second assist for Deshaun Butler. The jump up is good for Wright. Well, Bracey Wright, 15 now. 10 of them in the first half. Six of eight from the field. Butler has been feeling it from three, makes another one. Oh, Deshaun Butler stroking it well here tonight. And you see four of four, 16 points personal for him. Coming into this one, it was a 35% shooter on the season. But feeling it right now as Jerusalem make their ninth three of the game. Harsh words coming out of the timeout for Nimberg then. As they were asked, have they left their heart at home? Some strong frustration for Coach Oden Amiel. Wants his team to use fouls rather than give up such easy baskets. Can see his point. As fight for the rebound. Somebody went down. It looks like it's Laura Lahu. Twisted his left ankle. That's not one you want to see in a game like this. Lahu hobbles to the side. Nothing in it. I think he just trod on uh, Martin Kreese. Yeah, you can see Lahu already signals to the bench. He's going to need a sub there. Can't quite get it on the camera. I think he landed as he was going backwards on the foot of Chris. And Chris. And then took a tumble. So Allahu goes out. Yogi Verhoeon's back in. Jacobin Brown kicks it. Extra pass. Butler once more. Too strong this time. But good work on the glass for Brown. Butler to a Hayon. Look at the way the ball's moving. Bartimore buries it. Another three for Jerusalem. Great team basketball for them. Ball flipping from side to side. 
moved beautifully throughout. Tamor then commits the foul. Well, they were asked to use fouls to stop easy scores. I think he get close enough to the ball to foul him on that particular occasion. Great ball movement for Jerusalem. As they move to 97, we still got six and a half minutes to go. Ruban, some space comes off the screen, fires the foul line jump oh, and makes it. Just the second field goal of the game for Wojciech Ruban. Moves to six. Round to Butler. Now to Moore. Stout Meyer. Fouled by Myers. First foul against Nimberg. Smart play from Stoudemire, though. Just moves the ball into the arms. Knows he's going to draw the foul. Brown still touching it for his first three-point make. Butler has made a few. And this is his last two now. Both of them too strong. Made the first four. Right. Ruban skips it to Davis. He's made one three. That one way off though. Good work from Myers. He gets fouled on his way up. <laughs> Butler. Frustrated. Even with the lead. Doesn't want to give up anything. Myers from the line. Is good. Bench looks on for Nimberg. Four points for Mike Myers then. That's a man here. to Brown, to Stoudemire, who is fouled. Again by Myers. Good work from Stoudemire, second foul on Myers. So I'm going to the act of shooting though, so he will head to the line. Two more for him. That is living from the line here tonight. Partner goes out. Some smiles with Feldin. So Stoudemire, six of seven from the line. One more score to bring up the hundred for Jerusalem. Pedicup thought about it, gives it to right. He turns it over. Oh, hey on. Has to pull it out. Ruban got well back. Brown isolates against Pedicup. Steps back, takes the long jumper. Can't get it to go though. Jacobin Brown now one of eight. Does have six assists though. Pedicup is fouled. Have to go to the line to earn his two. Couldn't get the, the hook shot to go. First is good. the other way Baltimore gets the score kick out Pedica for three he can't get it oh, great rebound from Davis but he loses it the hundreds up for Jerusalem 
But they still want more here. Jacobin Brown throws it high and nearly goes in as he looks for Owens. All right, to Davis. Kuban can't take in a clean pass. Better go wide open. And he finishes it off. Brown. Finally gets one to go and look at his reaction. <laughs> He makes the three and just stands there, puts his hands on his hips as if to say, finally, second make for him, 11th three for Jerusalem. Davis gets the score. More to the corner, Jacobin Brown for three again, nearly drops. That's right now, comes the other way. Davis to right once more, Davis on the pick and pop. Defense just switching though as they're trying to get the three point shot up. And a foul is called. In possession with Jerusalem. Foul is good against Myers. The Stoudemire goes out. Polite round of applause from the crowd here. Thomas catches it, gives it back to Palat, but a three-second call is made. And Feldin is going to come back in as well. So Jerusalem, despite having this sizable lead, want to finish the game. Some strong play. Play 2-3 zone here. Huban gets it to Myers. Shot clock getting under 10 again. Davis trying to find Myers. Tough pass from him. It's taken away. Another turnover for Nimberg. Thomas in a hurry kicks it out. It'll come screen for Black. He's got the switch now. This is where Black's dangerous from three. Oh, but this time he'll find Thomas, extra pass to Owens, and he knocks it down all too easy for uh, Jerusalem there. Another two in the bank. And could be more here. As Bartimore kicks it to Thomas, he thought about the three. And just with this lead, they can be so patient. No hurry at all. There's Platt misses. Owens gets the rebound. Here's Black now to Tamor. Owens is fouled. Sideline possession. It's not team fouls yet. Feldin has a little bit of room, opens up for him, and he's fouled going to the ring by Davis. He doesn't like the call. Complained a few of them today. Alex Davis. Davis then goes out. Martin Krish comes back in. Kuban kicks it back. Corner now for Pedicut. Still this zone defense from Jerusalem. As we have the three from Pedicut in and out. And just 
Jerusalem players challenging each other to grab the rebound. Under 90 seconds remaining. Pass out of bounds. Touch last by Krish. Black open. He's going to put it on the floor. Slices in and fails to finish. Kruban finds Pedica. And another good finish from Pedica. He deserves the credits today. 17 points personal, four rebounds, three assists as well. An impressive individual performance from him despite this 28 point deficit right now. Platt into the lane, finds Thomas. His three is way off. Still, Owens is going to pick up the rebound. It's tipped out, will be Nimberg Ball. Ban gives it in to Myers. Krish can't finish. And Bartimore has got numbers. Finds Feldin for three. And he gets it to drop. Feldin rattles it home. And that's going to cap off a very fine offensive performance once more from Jerusalem. 20 for Feldin. 111 now up. As the jumper doesn't go. Turnover. Now we're going to bounce this one out. Highest scoring total of the season for Jerusalem. The second time they've gone over 100 points in the Basketball Champions League as they've scored 111 to take the victory here over Chesnimberg. 1-1-1 to 80. There is the confirmation, 111 to 80. A very comfortable and impressive victory on the road for Hapoel Jerusalem. They won every quarter on their way to the sizable victory. And I've got to say, all credit to them. A very strong performance from a team looking like one of the favourites, perhaps, to reach it through to the final four stage. They are number one currently in the power rankings on the Basketball Champions League website and you've got to say they are looking all the bit like a number one on that performance here tonight smiles all round for the players of Hapoel Jerusalem five guys in double figures the fans even in the Czech Republic cheering them on Yes, Stoudemire salutes those people there. It'll be an easy trip back to Jerusalem then. Look at those numbers, 68% for two, 40% for three as well, 12 of 30. And uh, Chess Nimberg, whose two-point percentage went up throughout the game, just didn't really quite do enough. 13 offensive rebounds, didn't help. 29 assists for Jerusalem as uh, 14 turnovers for Nimberg. A lot of those coming at uh, crucial points in the game as well. So the leaders, Feldin, led the way 20 points. One of a host of double-figure scorers, six of them in total for Jerusalem. We said Pedica led the way offensively for uh, Nimberg. 15 as well for Bracey Wright as those are the only two guys to reach that total. Stoudemire chipped in 19 points, seven rebounds. And then Butler, 16 after he made his first four threes. Uh, doesn't forget 13 of Thomas, 11 points for Black. And seven assists and six rebounds for hit Tamir Black as well. And as Jerusalem dominated this game from start to fin finish here. Took them 38 seconds to take the lead. They did not look back from them. The leader won stage 31, and that is what it finished as they take the victory here tonight. 111 
280 and will continue to move towards the top of the table in Group C. They will now look to see how Ike do tomorrow night. And uh, if they can leapfrog the Greek team into first position, Ike will be facing off against the Spanish team Fuenlabrada tomorrow. Came to, you can catch right here on Live Basketball TV. As I will say, good night.